You know, I, I hear about this shit, you know, throughout the internet about this thing called the BDK, GDK war. Now, I know you're from the West Side. Yeah. I, I want to know, did that reach on the West Side, too? Did that reach out there? Or did uh, that just stay out there? It's, it's out there. You know, it's, it stayed out there, but some people try to affiliate me from how close I am with Duck and how close I am with Ruger, and they try to affiliate me, so they will try to bring it to the West Side. But Dirk and them, like, I know mutual friends and them. They know deep down inside, like, like I, I was on Clubhouse, you know, with a few of them, Dooley loaning them and a few of them. Right. They're like, Big Chris, man, we know what you do. Your name good out here on the West Side, Joe. You know, everybody speak good to you, man. Ain't no bad intentions coming from our way, Joe. We know you you, you, you mind your business, Joe. You know, we understand that, you know. And, and But it might be some shorties who don't understand that. That's from over there and just know me from being in the videos with them. So, you know, that's why I still move with my head up and the thing on me, you feel me? But you just gotta you just gotta move the right way in this city and that's being anything, you know. Right. But it ain't it ain't too much over on the west side, but you know, I think like a lot of the little west side rappers who do make it, they 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 beefing with the GDs too. Like I say, right. they hate a lot of neighborhoods. They beefing with the GDs too, so and then just click right with them, what they going. Right, you know, and you said something about the lipo. I, I want to ask you something because you seem kind of smooth to me, Chris. Yeah. So I want I want to ask you some real shit, and I want you to keep it a hundred with me, okay? Yeah. Uh, was you really, 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 really pissed off at him because of like didn't really give you the credit, ain't really fuck with you like that? Or did the internet kind of instigate that with you? Honestly, I was younger. He was younger. I was really, really pissed off at him. Right. I was really, really pissed off at him because my whole goal was. You know, I was hot with the music. You know, I, I had a name, M-I-C, right, a group, right. boom, name. But I slowed down on me, producing my music and slowing down doing my music to focus on my little partners. I was having all my little partners do music. He was one of my little partners, right. you know. And whoever popped, all of us was just doing music. Whoever popped, this was our goal. This is what we talked about, being in them projects with the Roaches and the Rats, recording these, cutting ups and cooling with my shooters and gang and this bit. The, the, the man was to... That was in your studio, right? Yeah, yeah. In the projects, in the motherfucking closet. I'm mixing and mastering. You know, nobody else got the files but me. Uh -huh. You dig know what I'm saying? I didn't even get them to a major label with nobody. I got it. And the goal was to whoever pop, you, you reach for the next one and we go up. So, you know, we got him popping. We focused on him as we see the streets like him. We focused on no more. You know, I called one of my partners with a nicer bag at me at the time. I ain't have all this now, you know? Uh -huh. And I, man, I ain't got the money for him. Snatch him up, you know, do what you can do. Right. So they put some money in him. You know, like he's got a little iffy. Yeah, I don't know if they back talked me to him. Okay. And, you know, it just got a little iffy. But he was young at the time, so now I don't hold a grudge. And I got out my, you know, I got out my body. I talked too much, you know. My goal was never for nobody to put me on, but I was hurt because this was like my little brother and my little partner. Right. Fed him, took care of him, you know, all that. Right. Not to say he would have blew with not one the blue without me, but I was a big part of him and Kid Wonder success. Kid Wonder made beats in my crib all day. With they was under me all day. You know what? Once again, Chris, you said something I got a target. Okay, you said Kid Wonder. Yeah. I remember Stewie too. Yeah. Uh, I remember Love Fo. Yeah. I, I seen you talk about this in a few interviews. Yeah. I, I seen that. I seen it in a Zach TV interview. Yeah. Um, a lot of legendary interviews I seen you in. But one question I don't think I ever heard nobody ask, and I want to know: uh, What side did the hood take on that? Did the hood? Was My it, neighborhood. Was it split? Yeah. Was it split? Was people was, on this uh, side? Was people on left on side? See, at the, at the time, my little shawty, see, my hood is, my shawty's under me. I've been taking care of my hood for a long time. Back in the days, I was 17, 18, I had a settlement for like two, three hundred thousand. I took care of the hood, you know, put them in cribs, cars, bonded the hood out of jail, took care of the hood. So my shorties was always under me. Right. And it come to time, I pop him, I guess they thought he was going to be their savior, but they didn't know, you know, his actions ain't. You know, a lot of them, a lot of them went on his side. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you got on the internet saying I'm hating. Like, I'm like, me hating? I took y'all, I'm not hating, you know? Right. Y'all know me, I'm always nice and having things and getting this, lose, probably lose some money and getting it back. You know? Y'all know me, I ain't no reason to hate. I, I recorded you little niggas. I helped you write your raps, create your music. You niggas want rappers, I turned you to rappers. So why would I got to hate on y'all? I made y'all do this music. And now... Few months later, like the SpongeBob thing is, 
Everybody, man, you right, you right. He was right about him. That nigga this, that nigga that. I say, no, nah, don't come that now. A few months later, here I go, skyrocketing, FBG duck, taking me to another level. Now he want to come back around me, but it don't go like that. I got with my OGs to the neighborhood. Catch my age, they took his side. So I just like, man, go on, on. I ain't fun no young niggas. I got with my OGs to the side, to, in my neighborhood. You know, that's who I run with now. Okay. You know what? You said duck name. You know, mm -hmm. um... I see a lot of videos of Doug. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I want to be honest. I see, like, the dead bitches. I see, like, you know, the beefs that he have like that. So the internet kind of portrayed him a certain way. You was around him when the cameras went around. Uh, was he just always, like, aggressive with